Let's talk about ractopamine. You've never heard of it. No ractopamine is a label. You're going to start seeing those words showing up on some of the bacon and pork you see at your supermarket. So I put a poll on DrOz.com asking if you've even heard of ractopamine. It's given the 60 to 80% of the pigs in our country to accelerate growth. You know what? 97% of you had never heard of it. As part of our Food Truth series, I asked one of my core team experts, award-winning journalist and author of The Dorito Effect, Mark Shasker, to go on the road to investigate. What does the new pork label really mean? If you're like most people, you've probably never heard of the drug ractopamine. But if you love pork chops as much as I do, there's a chance you've consumed it. That's because 70% of the pork sold in this country comes from pigs that have been fed ractopamine. So what exactly is ractopamine? It's a drug, similar to adrenaline, that makes pigs gain muscle mass. The first hit says it's banned in many countries. That's alarming. Oh, and this one's interesting. The USDA is allowing one company to have a ractopamine-free label on its pork. I headed to the countryside of Virginia so I could meet the man behind those new pork labels. Nice to meet you. He's the founder of Tendergrass Farms, a company that sells organic pork. So tell me, how did you come up with your no ractopamine pork label? Why did you think this was so important that you petitioned Washington to change it? From our perspective as a pork company, we believe this is something that distinguishes our pork from other pork and we wanted to tell our customers about that. So how did ractopamine get on your radar? Well, it's a personal story. I have a cousin in Iowa who raises a lot of conventional hogs. And uh, so when I got into the industry, I had a conversation with him where I asked him about hormones. It says, so you use hormones in producing your pork, right? And his answer was, no, it's illegal, but we do use ractopamine. So if other countries are banning it, why are American farmers using so much of it? Well, it's about simple economics. Uh, ractopamine is a drug that makes it so that the pig can eat less grain and yet still create more muscle and less fat on the carcass. Before you went to Washington, you must have talked about this with some of your colleagues in the industry. What did they say? One very interesting conversation was with a global meat purchaser with a very well-known natural uh, retailer. And I asked him, what do you think about ractopamine? His response, racto what? So it became pretty clear to me that this is a very well-kept industry secret. That same sentiment was reiterated by my friend, farmer Joel Salatin. The industry thrives in a shroud of secrecy, and that's why they don't let people come and visit their slaughterhouses. They don't let people come and visit their farms. They've got no trespassing signs. Uh, the truth is that if the average American knew how their food was produced, they would make very, very different food choices. Salatin, who raises 600 hogs on his pasture-based organic farm, is not afraid to talk openly. I know you would never buy this, but I brought some ractopamine. Wow, the real deal. That's it, ractopamine. That's, so how, you that's spell. how you spell it. Okay, all and right. You can actually buy it online. And this is what it looks like. I'll be careful not to drop any. But yeah, that's... yeah, pigs, pigs, you just shut your mouths here a minute. Wow, little pellets of. That of, is ractopamine. Little pellets of junk. My last stop was to find out how ractopamine affects animal and human health. I tracked down veterinarian Dr. Michael Blackwell. Dr. Blackwell, you are a veterinarian. You were with the FDA for 20 years. Yes. How safe is ractopamine for humans and for pigs? For pigs, uh, FDA has received more than 200,000 adverse experience reports of either injury or death. Pigs will range from being too aggressive, having tremors, to actually going down and being unable to, to stand and walk. If people are eating pork from pigs that are fed ractopamine, are they eating ractopamine? I would say yes, and uh, that's a problem. You might wonder why ractopamine is used at all. It's probably due to consumers' demand for cheap meat. But in the end, you need to look at the total cost of the food you eat. And above all, you have a right to know what you're buying. Marsh Asker is here. Now, I wanted to know how ractopamine changes the taste and texture of pork. Now, I, you know, I, I tell you, I've been chewing on this little bit here from this one for a while. And I don't know which was which. This one I can chew and get down. This one and I just keep chewing forever. So Working it over. Working it over. And th this one is actually easier to get down, but this one seems to be sort of saltier, like... Please tell me which is which and why we're finding that. It's so, an interesting difference in taste yes, also. Yes, this is the pork from the pig that has been fed ractopamine. And people are literally tasting the difference. But here's what's important. If your meat has no fat in it, it's gonna to be tough 
and it's going to be dry. We can literally see that if we look at raw pork chops. You can see this is bigger, more meat. This has more marbling, yeah. smaller but more fat. Now, this looks like a better value, but it's just not going to have the same flavor. And the industry knows that there's a problem with this, so what they often do is they inject pork with brine. They're trying to get that juiciness back in there. They add flavors to try and get that flavor back in there. But this is just not the same quality as pigs that have been raised the old-fashioned way. Now, listen, I'd be a little frustrated, too, because I'm paying for something, and I'm, you know, some of it's water, right? That's right. So I'm getting less you're, when I'm done. You're paying a lot of money for water. All right, so I would love if it's okay to take everyone over here and show you, uh, from a health perspective, why there's some concerns about ractopamine, especially for pigs. And we know this a little bit because it's actually similar to a drug we use in humans. Ractopamine is a beta agonist. A beta agonist, anybody who's got asthma, that's the kind of drug we give you. But it turns out that when it's typically added to feed, like I just showed you, it puts weight on really quickly. So these pigs get bigger, faster, especially in the end of their lives. So this is like a performance enhancing drug used by bodybuilders. That's how they get so big. It's illegal actually to use this in competitive sports for that very reason. Now the pigs grow 10% faster. That means more meat, and that means more money, right? Three to five dollars extra per pig. Not a huge amount, but it's meaningful. The makers of ractopamine say that pigs have very rapid metabolism rates for this stuff, so it leaves their system quickly, and that means you shouldn't see very much of this on the shelves when you go shopping for meat. That's a good thing. But, but, some meat testing has found low levels of residue in pork products. And frankly, there's no real testing that's been done on, that's meaningful in humans. So there's nothing to say that it's safe or that it's unsafe. But that stated, some countries, a lot of countries, have banned ractopamine, including all of Europe, Russia, and China. Now, why is it important that these countries have banned ractopamine? Why does it make a difference to our consumers? Well, let's, let's just think about the example of China. China tested American pork. They found ractopamine residue. They have a zero tolerance policy. They do not want our pork. Last year, pork exports to China went down by 20%. Mm. That's worth more than $100 million. Mm. So what does that say about this value of 3 to $5 for a whole pig? Suddenly that's not so valuable anymore. So we reached out to the National Pork Producers Council. I wanted to hear how they felt about this new label. And they said, in part, there's no scientific evidence suggesting that ractopamine poses a health concern, which is why FDA and the International Food Safety Standards Setting Body have approved it. Now, they also want to make it clear that there's no industry-wide label. That's right. Right now, it's just one organic pork producer who got his label approved. So, Mark, do you think more companies are going to move towards having this no ractopamine label? <clears throat> Absolutely. Consumers are more concerned than ever with what's in their food. They're starting to hear about ractopamine, this well-kept secret. They will not like the sounds of a drug fed to pigs that is cruel to them, that makes the meat taste worse and that could be getting in their own bodies. So I think this is the beginning of the end for rectopamine. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.